tracking pixels are tiny images that people put into emails to spy on you. And this is nothing new, in fact, a study in 2021 showed that up to two-thirds of all emails include these pictures. In this video, I will demonstrate a simple tracking pixel, show what information we can obtain, and then discuss the various protections email providers have put into place to try and defend against this. The concept of a tracking pixel is really quite simple. All it involves is including an image tag in an HTML email that I'm sending to a target. Once the target opens the email, it will send a GET request to my server to try and fetch the image which I included, which will give us all sorts of information, such as the time the email was opened, the target's IP address, the target's user agent, and more. To demonstrate, I have this basic HTML marketing email. I will, at the top, include an image tag to an image hosted on my server. So, source is http williammoody.com port 8080 tracking.jpg and that's it. So we have the image tag which is going to send a request to this URL to try and fetch the image and the rest is just the um, <laughs> the marketing email. I'm going to send it to myself to show you guys what sort of information we get. We're going to paste in the HTML code like this. I'm going to go ahead and send it. Here I have ssh to williammoody.com. Just for demonstration, I will listen on port 8080, which is where the image is supposedly hosted. And once I open this email, you should see a request show up. So, I open it up. The image, you can't see it, but it should be up here. And it looks like a regular email, but I did get a GET request for tracking.jpg from the browser. And so you can see the IP address it was sent from, the user agent it was sent from, we know when it was sent. All this information is given to us. But how far can we really take it? Well, we have the IP address, so we can look that up. In this case, it gives us quite a large range. The entire city of Vienna and some neighboring cities. Another thing we can look up is the user agent. And you could, of course, try to read it from this, or you could use an online parser to see that the target uses Firefox 102 on Linux, x64 architecture, x11 Windows system. It's already giving you a bit of a picture about the target, right? Aside from that, well, like this you can't see, but in a regular server log, you could see the time and how many times the image was requested, when and how many times the target opened the email to read it, right? It might not make sense why you'd want to collect this information, but the majority of the cases, it's people sending marketing emails to try to understand their target audience a bit better. As this is such a widespread tactic, like I said, tracking pixels appear in two-thirds of all emails. Many email providers have some sort of protection in place, such as blocking images from loading until explicit permission is given, and then loading images through proxies to avoid leaking the user's IP addresses and user agents. To show you a little bit better what I'm talking about, I'm going to try and send the same email to myself, but on my Gmail account, and let's see what happens. So, let's go ahead and set it up. Should be it. And send it. So, I have the listener open, and I'm going to go ahead and open the email. And we're going to see that the request looks a little bit different this time. So it's a different IP address, and it's a different user agent. Specifically, it's Google Image Proxy. So Google doesn't block images by default. What it does is it just loads all images through a proxy. Because this way, if we look up this user agent, or if we look up this IP, we're not going to get any information on the target, except for that he opened the email, or how many times he opened it, right? So if we try to look up this IP address, we're not going to find anything interesting. We're going to see that it is a static IP in California. Google proxy at google.com. Clearly nothing related to our target. We can look up the user agent. We're not going to gain any information. It'll just say that it's the Google image proxy. So this is really the point of why they use these proxies. So that's it for this video. I know it was a relatively short one, but I hope you learned something new. I didn't really know much about tracking pixels before this one, so I certainly did. And I hope to see you in the next one.